four, three, two, one, let's go now. Hey, level up, hey, level up. <laughs> hey, guys. How is everybody doing? Welcome to another episode of Totally Random. As you guys can tell, I am super happy today. I am high on happy apple juice. So we're talking about something that I saw in, you know, these quotes, memes, things they have on the gram. And it said, a lot of women have wife material written all over them, but they keep hanging out with men that cannot read. Ah, Obama, it entered, 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 it entered. People, I said for this whole video, I'm not going to be razzed, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> compose. So for me, that, that was very, I, I wouldn't say it hit home, but it explained a lot. A lot of my friends, a lot of people I know, a lot of people even on social media have been complaining, oh, men are scum, men are scum, they're in unhappy relationships. Maybe it's because you're looking for the wrong things in the wrong guy, or you're looking for the wrong things in the right guy, or you're looking for the right things in the wrong guy. A lot of times, a lot of people are, would I say, obsessed with the idea of somebody, which Rihanna also spoke about. She was like, some people fall in love with the idea of someone. You see a guy now, okay, you fall in love with the potential him. What if he doesn't reach that potential you're trying to get him to? What if he doesn't get to the point where you envision him to be? What if, okay, you see a guy now, he looks nice, and in your mind you're like, ah, if this guy starts going to the gym now, the six-pack he will have will be mad, and you're there loving up. But right now he doesn't have a six-pack because you're imagining in your head that he's going to go to the gym. What happens when he doesn't go to the gym and you're so focused on him being the guy with the six-pack? What is your relationship built on? A lot of girls are saying, oh, he's not taking me seriously. He's, I'm a side chick. Darling, if you act like a side chick, they which oh, I said I wasn't going to be roused. Woo. Darling, if you act like a sad chick, you're going to be treated like a sad chick. That's how it works. I feel like a lot of times, a lot of women are not independent enough financially, emotionally, mentally to be in certain types of relationships. If you don't love yourself, nobody can love you, right? I'm still struggling with learning to know myself. Hey, say learning to know. Wow. Oh, this razzness. I'm still struggling with, with you know what? Raz or not, I see the struggle to love myself. You can't love me enough from me which is a lot of um which is the cause of a lot of issues these days a lot of girls have some insecurities maybe you're not comfortable with how your body looks you're not so even if a man is telling you he loves you he will fly past your head because even you don't believe it so you're doubting him and please all these nfa boys leave them i want to quit looks. i want to paparazzi i want to i'm an upcoming artist if you're a woman who wants to have fun, I'm not saying these guys don't have futures or can't get to a certain type of place, but if you're a career woman who wants, you know, financial support with maybe an idea or you want, you know, a mature mind, these aren't technically the guys to be hanging with. Do you get, if you're young, you want to have fun, you want to have a relationship that is not going to be too serious, then fine. But if you're looking to build something with someone, settle down eventually, there are just certain types of guys you should just not be with. Do you get what I mean? The vibes you give off are the vibes you receive. That's what I believe. If you put yourself on a high pedestal and you act a certain type of way, you act mature, the type of people you, you attract will be different. Your circle of friends also matters. Are your girlfriends the happy-go-lucky, popping one club to the other? I mean, for example, if you're an okay person, but somehow you find yourself in a circle of Lagos girls in quotes, nobody's going to necessarily believe that, you know, you're not a Lagos girl as well, simply because, you know, you're a whole by association. And you may not even, you know, see it that way. You may be friends with these girls because maybe they are nice or you guys have, you know, some similar goals or similar priorities or similar trends or traits, rather. And who somebody's like looking from the outside is like, no, this one is a wrong girl. So a lot of times I feel like it is in, within the power of the woman to decide what type of man she ultimately attracts and what type of man she ultimately settles down with. If you want to be wife material my darling look for a man that is ready to be married don't be they will say they say something don't give um don't do wifey shit for fuck boys or the same goes just all i'm saying is know what you want be certain that this person you're giving whatever it is you're giving to is worth what you're giving them or is ready to handle whatever you're giving them if not it will turn to a case of you be on twitter and they will screenshot your issues and bring it to instagram so ladies this one is purely purely i'm trying to find my british accent this one's purely for you guys. Um, I don't think that's the case. Anyways, guys, ladies, this one is for you. Be the vibe you want to attract. Don't 
fall into some type of relationships because you just want to be in a relationship. Fall into something that, you know, is worth it and it's worth your time and your energy and your love before they break your heart and you'll be part of the hashtag then has come. That's all for today, guys. Bye. Level up. Eh, level up. Eh, level up. Level up. I'm sorry, recording. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. Go. And please, I said I record this, so please, just up my toe. Just. I'm recording now. Don't be offended. Okay. Don't be offended. I'm trying to fuck my. <laughs> Jesus, Abby. <laughs> I don't understand. Who said this will be this afternoon? Abby, this early evening. Okay, no, okay, cacao for me now.